This is Ryan Michael talking with Dr. Molly Miller, musician, guitarist. She has a doctorate in musical arts from the University of Southern California. She's the chair of the guitar department at the Los Angeles College of Music. She's a YouTube star. Look her up. If you're ever interested in learning how to play guitar, listen to good music or both. Molly, appreciate you calling in. Good to be here. How's the day treating you so far? It's good. I just got back from like a five week tour, five, five, six week tour, and I'm finally home. So I'm just kind of recalibrating and catching up on stuff. It's good. Great. So let's, but before we get into talking about the tour and all the stuff you've been doing recently, I'd like to start my first question by dialing it back a little bit. How did you discover your love for playing guitar and when did you decide to pursue playing as a profession? So I'm in the middle of five kids. I started playing guitar when we started a family band. Um, yeah, it was kind of like, I used to say, it's like the movie Selena. My parents were kind of just like, okay, you're going to play this, you're going to play this, let's go. So yeah, my parents kind of just like gave me the guitar by default because of what other uh, my siblings wanted. And I, I grew up playing in like a family rock band with my siblings. And that definitely started my love of the instrument. But then I had these kind of aha moments, if you will, like when I learned Jimi Hendrix, when I was in middle school school rocking out in a garage band to blink 182 mm -hmm. in fifth grade and with my friends and like yeah and then um so yeah a lot of aha moments where it really became clear like this is for sure what i'm doing what i love how i am going to live this world yeah as you've pursued your music career and move forward uh you've been associated with a lot of big acts you performed with jason mraz raining jane the black eyed peas the list goes on and on. What has that experience been like for you? You know, it, it is, like, pretty surreal sometimes, like, to be, to think of, like, little Molly and seeing what I do now is, is like, pretty cool. But I don't know. I, it's, like, that's a hard question because it's just, like, uh, it's surreal, but but it's always just like, I think everything I do is just like being very professional and true to myself, showing up prepared. But it's really like, if I'm playing music with people that inspire me, I'm happy. And whether it's like a small club in LA that 20 people are at the club or like a venue where thousands of people are watching and there's lights and all this stuff, like it's sort of, I have the same mentality of just trying to be present and be true to my myself and the music and really like i know it sounds cliche but have fun because if i'm having fun and present then i'm very proud of what happens absolutely now when you've you you just got done wrapping up your tour with jason mraz and yeah. one song that you guys performed together that has really caught my attention is song for a friend uh, I yeah. feel that you steal the show with your guitar solo. It's a, it's an epic track. Take us behind the scenes. What has it been like to work with Jason to evolve that song through live performance? Well, Jason's just about the freaking best boss you could imagine. I think a lot of people in the music industry and any any sort of, not just the like entertainment world, but like if it's their thing, they want to be the the star and they want to, it's all about them. But Jason's very, and like they have a very specific idea of what you're supposed to be. Jason's vision is everyone to be true to themselves, which is like such a, a dream to just be like, play with me and you be you. It's like, oh, heck mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, and that's true of song for a friend too. It's like, it's not like he like told me how to solo or what to do. He's just like, okay, you mm -hmm. do your thing. Um, and every night it's a little different, which I also love. And I think Jason loves too, is the unpredictability, which forces you to be more present really of us just listening to ourselves. It's not always exactly planned out what's going to happen. It's just like, okay, let's watch each other and listen. Um, and it's so fun to rock out. Like, yeah to rock out for a bunch of people is pretty dang fun so yeah I, I don't know i don't know if there's no hot goth no super juicy stuff besides just like jason's like go do your thing and then i i get i get to do that the audience reacts to it so you can feel it when you're there when you're there live and you know i always say that if you're a fan of of music and especially guitar players like yourself um you could listen to the music on youtube um, but it's not until you go out there and listen to the live performance that you really understand what makes a guitarist special. So, you know, you have some upcoming tour dates with the Molly Miller Trio. 
Can you tell yeah. me a little bit about the trio and how my listeners can get tickets to have the opportunity to see you perform live? Yeah. Um, so I, I, my, our next date's in Atlanta in a couple weeks. Um, we're playing the Monterey Jazz Festival in September. We have some, um, we got a Paso Robles gig. So we play like all over. So the, the trio is myself, Jennifer Condos and Jay Bellarose, and they're mm-hmm. a pretty legendary uh, duo. So look them up. They've played with everyone. We've been um, not touring as much lately, you know, because Jay, Jay is um, on the road with Allison Krauss and Robert Plant, but that's coming to a close soon. Uh, but yeah, so the trio, we have some dates and it's easy. Just go on my Instagram or go on my website and you can get some tickets. Uh, yeah, and we're kind of all over the country. We're just in Iowa right before the Jason tour. So keep an eye out. And we're looking, we're, we're currently, my goal with the trio is to get an agent so I can get some help booking more shows because we'll get like a <laughs> date and then I book a couple around them. But I'm like, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of emails and I feel like some support in that world would be awesome. So I'm putting it out in the universe. Absolutely. So all those agents out there, I hope you're listening. Um, totally. for my listeners, I couldn't encourage you enough. Uh, if you'd like to follow Molly and her music, you can check her out at mollymillermusic.com. You can give her a follow, uh, same Twitter handle and Instagram handle at Moody Mill. If you'd like to give me a yeah. follow on Twitter, it's at the Ryan Michael. Molly, I appreciate you taking the time to call in today. Thank you.